I'm Culver Ranger. I'm the Mayor of London's Environment Advisor. Well, I think that C40 is becoming really powerful for the very reasons that uh, Mayor Bloomberg as chair and former President Clinton and Boris Johnson, Mayor of London as deputy chair, have said that cities are now actually the places where things can actually happen, action can take place on the ground. We can actually deliver real change. National governments are sometimes struggling with the bigger scale and structure of things. So it's important that cities come together and really combine their efforts because if we can actually get things done, if we come together and really talk about what we're doing, we can make even more improvements happen in our cities. And yes, we must look at how we improve the environment, the quality of life. And in London's terms, what Boris is really keen about, maintaining the village feel of the city because we're bringing lots more people, we know we've got more industry, we have more demands on transport, but we must retain that thing that makes our city so special and that's the quality of life of living in it. Boris Johnson in London has looked to do a number of really radical things in terms of improving uh, the environmental approach to the city. We've had uh, a process of looking at what we can do in terms of accommodating electric vehicles. Boris is totally committed to bringing 100,000 vehicles to London. But to do that, there are a number of challenges in place. We must drive confidence in terms of both the, the people to buy the vehicles and also manufacturers to build the vehicles and bring them there. And the key ingredient in that seems to be charging the networks. How is it going to work? How do you get a standardized approach? And we've launched a new network called Source London, which is looking to deliver 1,300 charging points throughout the city by 2013 and that's the start enabling people to feel confident about that technology but also cleaning up our bus fleet we, we have over 300 hybrid buses in our bus fleet and the mayor has also given the go-ahead to develop the cleanest greenest bus we think in the world the new bus for london which is based on the old route master the old hop on hop off uh, iconic bus and that will be 40% more efficient than a current diesel bus and 17% more efficient than a current hybrid bus. I think one of the most powerful things that has come out of this particular conference here in Sao Paulo is the reports that have been published about the data that we have and can collect to see what is happening in different cities and what we can actually leverage our powers together to see what we can do in terms of whether we need to access funding to deliver programs, whether we can actually talk to private sector organizations, not just on a city by city level, but as a group of cities to say we need assistance in terms of better retrofitting technology, more impact in terms of back office systems, support that can actually be economically viable for these organizations as well. As a city, we can do a lot. But as a cities, we can do even more. And I think the conversations that I've been having with people here is they've got good programs, we've got good programs. If we combine our potential to deliver these programs, we can get even more done, costing us less and actually delivering more. I think that's the real value of being here and talking with my colleagues.